Hi guys, it's Taylor. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a little bit different of a video from normal. We're actually going to be doing a content plan with me for the month of November. So if you guys watched my last November plan with me, I talked about how this was sort of my part one where I was just laying down the month, um, what my normal life plans are, what the school schedule is, all of that fun stuff. And then I talked about how I really wanted to film a content plan with me with you guys um, as sort of a second part to this monthly plan with me. So here is where I'm feeling a little torn and I wanted to have this figured out before I sat down to film, but I'm kind of feeling like just going with my gut and seeing where it takes me. So <clears throat> um, I have this page up here in the front that is blank. And then I also have these dashboard pages that I'm currently not using for anything. Now in the past, I have used this page when it was the dot grid last year as a checklist for my YouTube videos. And let me just pull my planner out real quick to show you an example. Okay, so here is a perfect example. This was February of last year. I had my checklist for all of my YouTube videos. And then I actually kept all of my plan for my YouTube videos in a Google Cal, which is what I have sort of laid out already. Um, I have pre-planned my YouTube videos in my Google calendar, but I really wanted to have them physically written down as well. So that brings me to the second method that I've done in the past. And that is the Erin Condren Petite planners. So I used to use, well, I've started in this planner multiple times, but this is an undated monthly planner. Let me just go to an undated set of pages. This is an undated mini monthly calendar. So you can, you know, write the month at the top, then you can date it. And I was sort of just writing in my videos with an erasable pen, which I cannot find my erasable pen anywhere. It is driving me crazy. <clears throat> Um, and then you would also have like these other extra notes pages, which I didn't really use. I mostly just used this monthly view and then I would use this uh, sort of checklist planner to do the same thing that I was doing in my other planner, except just at a smaller scale. So doing this, but in this sort of checklist petite planner. So I'm kind of torn between should I just go ahead and use my petite planners, which I kind of wanted to stray away from because I like the idea of having everything in one place in my planner. So I thought, well, maybe I should just go ahead and use these extra pages for my YouTube videos. Or I could just keep these with me, like carry these with my life planner. I can always use one of those like elastic bands to just keep them all together. And then they still would be kind of in the same place, but I don't know you guys, I'm really leaning towards just using this, these pages. The only problem is that I don't really have cute stickers. Like when I did these pages for my setup, last year like look at this kit it was so pretty it went with the um monthly kit that i used from latrice papery i believe and then i used it again in march it was seriously just like such a beautiful setup um so i like want to do it again but I, and then i stopped using it in may uh, but i want to do it again i just feel i don't know unsure about like not really having the stickers for it. So I do have these um, November or these Erin Condren monthly sticker books that I can use to sort of just like outline it. But honestly, I don't know if I need it to look pretty. I just need it to really be functional. So I think what we're going to try to do is just use these pages. And I think I'm going to list out my videos here, like by week, I, I wish it was like a monthly view, but I don't want to crowd up my actual monthly view. 
with YouTube videos. So I kind of just want to put them on here. The only other thing is that it'd be really nice to have them all on stickers because then I can easily move around and shift my videos if I need to. But I don't have like extra monthly stickers apart from what I'm saving to just use for this monthly view. I have these patterns labels, two, four, six, eight, ten. I think I have 12 videos though for the month. So I wouldn't have enough of them. I didn't think that far ahead when I was buying my stickers. So I think we're we're just gonna try it this way this month. And if it doesn't work, we'll we'll switch it up. So let's just set up these pages first. So I'm gonna use one of these November. These actually go really well with these neutral patterns. So I'm gonna use this older one and we're just gonna flip this open. I'm just gonna go ahead and lay down some stickers and um, just kind of get it looking cute first. So I'm thinking I'm just going to use, I'm, I really don't know where my erasable pen went. I do have this erasable marker, which I'm not, I don't know. Let's see how this does. I'm just going to mark on one of these pages. Okay, give me one sec. I'm just going to see if I can find my erasable pen. I'm going to look one more time before we get started here. Hallelujah, I just found my erasable pen, thank God. So we're gonna use, this is a friction clicker erasable pen and honestly I'm not in love with the way that it writes because any erasable pen is kind of faded, but I'm gonna need one because YouTube, you just never know how things are gonna go. So I think what I'm gonna do, let's take out my ruler. And let's, I know I'm gonna wanna kind of draw like a chart probably. That Aaron Condren sticker does not wanna stick down. What's new? All right, so I have one, two, four weeks in November basically that we are planning for. So let's see. Okay, so I know this may seem a little odd the way that I'm doing this, but again, I already have my videos in my Google Cal and they are placed on dates for Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So basically I have three videos per week planned with the intent and goal of always having at least two videos, the third video just being a bonus every week. So, um, <laughs> The reason I'm keeping it this way and not like putting it on specific days is because I'm still trying to figure out my schedule. If I want to do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, this week so far, I've already, my Monday video went up on Tuesday, but that was because of uploading issues. Um, but anyway, I'm still kind of figuring out exactly what days of the week I want my videos up. So this just keeps it nice and vague. Week one, video one, two, three, week two, video one, two, three, week three, and so on and so forth. So this kind of feels a little bit like my checklist, which I'm going to set up as well. Um, it'll be a little repetitive, but I think it'll be fine. So anyway, here we go with the videos. So I think I'm just going to place the name of the video inside each box. And then I don't know if I need this much space. I might be able to leave like a space underneath 
heck, I could have just like made an entire calendar with all of this space. I felt like it wasn't going to be enough space, but anyway, let's just go ahead and write in the videos for each week. So for week one, well, all of my first videos are going to be a plan with me. That's a given. So I'm going to go ahead and write plan with me underneath all of these. Okay, so that knocks four of my videos out. Plan with me is will always be in the plan for my content. So then this would be like Monday videos. This would be, so this would be Monday or Tuesday. This would be Wednesday or Thursday, and this would be Friday or Saturday. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So for <laughs> these videos on week one, I plan on having my November budget posted. And then my November goals for the third video. So I'm unsure if I really want to tackle sharing my goals with you guys every month, but I'm feeling re-inspired after getting my new power sheets in and ordering my Moxie Life. And I kind of want to like finish out the year strong in this year's power sheets, even though I haven't been in them since like April. Um, but I don't know. I was just feeling inspired and I think I might get a November goals video up for you guys. But again, any of the videos in this column are like maybes. Um, I'm not going to promise them. So then I really have been wanting to do a favorites video because I just have a ton of things that I am like obsessed with or using that I just want to share with you guys. So I'm going to plan on a current favorites video on week two. Then um, I think I'm going to try and do a Thanksgiving decorate with me. Or actually, I'm going to make this the, yeah, we're going to make this Thanksgiving. We're just going to put decorate with me. Um, I did plan on, I'm going to, I'm planning on doing an apartment tour for you guys, but it felt like I needed to do this one first just because then the next week would be Thanksgiving. So I don't know. We'll just kind of see how it plans out. I guess actually. I could do the apartment tour first because this is when Thanksgiving is. So maybe let's shoot for that. So this is why I grabbed my erasable pen. So we're going to do my apartment tour video, which many of you have been commenting that you want to see. So we'll do that. And then the next video for week three, my second video will be my midweek November budget check-in or mid-month. So I talked about doing my budget and instead of having, having weekly check-ins, just doing mid-month check-ins with you guys because that would be easier for me to keep up with. So we're going to plan on that. And then this would be my Thanksgiving decorate with me. I think that will work 10 times better. I hate writing on the coil. Yeah, okay, then for week four, we're gonna plan on my December plan with me. And then my November, wait, my December goals. So yeah. That's it, you guys. I think that that pretty much sums everything up as far as my content. This is a lot of content to shoot for, especially with how much I've struggled um, keeping up with everything. But you have to have goals, right? And if you don't strive for something, then you usually end up with nothing, which was what kind of the problem was these last couple of months is I just quit planning for my YouTube videos, so they just quit happening. So I think at least with a plan, it gives me something to strive for, and I should have more success with getting my content up. So I honestly love how simple that is. It's super easy for me 
to follow. Yes, I kind of do wish it was more of a calendar view, but this also like, I don't know, it feels a little bit easier for me to grasp and I don't have to feel so stressed out with like the dates on each one, if that makes sense. So I think real quick though, I'm gonna put the dates underneath I think that'll help. But yeah, so I really like that. It keeps it incredibly simple. It doesn't feel like it's too much to deal with. So then flipping to this page, let's go ahead and, okay, here's the thing. Last time when I set this up, I had this beautiful dot grid and now I have lines, which, can totally work they just hmm, they're not as ideal so I'm gonna try and draw this out let's go ahead and lay some more of this down I think I'm gonna just use this washi here Okay, so honestly, this doesn't look bad so far. I know this seems like a ton of extra work when I literally have like these petite planners that do the same thing, but it's one less thing for two less things for me to carry. It really is to me, I think just worth it to have it all in one place. At least that's the way I feel right now. That could totally change because I change my mind about how I like things all the time. But we're just going to keep it this way because it, I don't know, I think it's going to work. So I'm going to go ahead and write um, the different things that I have to do for my videos and then write the videos in. And then that really should be it. Okay, so I totally forgot that I was gonna like skip a line for every video because then it would have taken up the whole space, but whatever. I already wrote it. It looks fine even with the extra space down at the bottom. But yeah, I think that this is gonna work. So I added up here, film, edit, upload, thumbnail, description, schedule, and share because those are all the steps that I have for getting my videos put together and uploaded so yeah now I'm just left with these pages over here which I think it's fine if I don't use them honestly I think it's funny because I went from not having a use for this page to not having a use for this page um I don't know maybe this could be maybe I'll find a use for it if you guys have any ideas maybe if it's YouTube related I don't know, something that is functional. Honestly, I don't wanna waste my time with anything that's not functional. So if you guys have any ideas of maybe how I can could incorporate this into my monthly planning, maybe along with my YouTube stuff, um, maybe I could keep track of like analytics, income, maybe that's something I could use that space for. But anyway, yeah, that's it. So I have my monthly plan over here and then I have my checklist over here. Yeah, I know it's not anything fancy. It doesn't look super pretty, but it works and I just needed to get it done and I'm glad that it's done because I feel ready and prepared for 
the month. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really does help my channel out. Thank you guys so much, and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye. Maybe we should have added, like, decorative stuff. Let's add some decorative stuff, because why not? We have, like, all of these decorative stickers. Ooh, I kind of like that better. Changing it last minute. That's what I do. <laughs> All right, we're just going to leave it like that.